What's up y'all? It's your girl Tell back again with another video. So today we are going to be making some strawberry mango non-dairy. So y'all, non-dairy, you heard right, ice cream. So I want to first start off with saying thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome. And go ahead and share this video and let's get it out to as many people as we can. And if you read my description box, you know my goal. After you watch this video, outside of liking, subscribing, and commenting, go ahead and share it. Okay? Share it. But for now, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so it literally takes a few ingredients. That's it. And of course, if you've watched my other videos, then you already know I have my infamous instant pot that I'm going to be using to make it in. So the first thing we're going to do is open our instant pot up. I know I'll be struggling sometimes I'm trying to get things open, but that's okay. It's normal. So we're going to first make sure it's plugged in. And of course, it does not look like it's on right now, but as soon as you put the top back on, it's going to be on. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is add our heavy whipping cream. Now, you probably ask, how is it non-dairy if you're using heavy whipping cream? Well, guess what, y'all? Hopefully y'all can see that. It definitely says dairy free, okay? So we're gonna use two thirds of the dairy free heavy whipping cream. Now, if y'all want, y'all can use your um, normal heavy whipping cream instead of dairy free. That is totally up to you, just saying. So I want y'all to try it either way. Don't feel like you have to do it non-dairy way. Do whatever fits you, boo, okay? So you wanna go ahead and put that in there. Get every drop, okay, all right. Okay, so you wanna put in your liquids first. I don't know if I already said that. And then you wanna put half a cup of sugar and we're going to use our raw cane sugar, okay? You already know I love raw cane sugar. And it just makes it a little bit healthier instead of using just the regular little sugar. So let's go ahead and put our half cup of sugar. Okay, go ahead and put that in there. And then you wanna go ahead and add your fruit. So how much fruit you're gonna do is five ounces. So I'm making a small portion of it, okay? So I have five ounces of frozen mangoes and five ounces of frozen strawberries. And then you wanna just go ahead and put that in there, okay? All right, so now it's time to go ahead and put it on frozen desserts, okay? And then press start. And that takes about a minute, and let's see what it's giving us. A minute and 17 seconds, okay? That's it. Start. All right, y'all, so as you can see, that was a minute and 17 seconds. And so now let's just check the consistency of it. This is how the consistency should look because it's not gonna be frozen yet, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in a container and then you're gonna go ahead and freeze it. So now I know that video was very short, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final product because I did it on yesterday's just so I can have a final product today so it's freshly made I just let mine sit overnight and then that's it so let me go ahead and show y'all the final product this is the final product and I'm gonna go ahead and try it and golly Okay, so this is the final product. As y'all can see, it's kind of, you know, nice and tough. You know, I'm not going to eat that much. But, okay, so.
So. Mmm. Tastes just like actual ice cream. Y'all, please try this. I'm not even an ice cream lover at all, but this tastes just like ice cream and it's dairy free. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you all have been so great with sharing my videos, liking, subscribing. So y'all let's continue to share and remember in the description box is going to have my goal. So with you all's help of sharing the videos constantly, we're going to reach that goal together. Okay. So once again, thank you for watching. It's your girl tell share this with your family, friends, and your haters. Have a good one. Y'all stay safe.